After exploring and sampling the ancient rocks in Sita, the two robotic explorers have returned to their home base. Ingenuity is set to fly over Sita on its way to the Delta, but Perseverance has to drive around this rover death trap on this episode of Mars Guide. The Delta deposit of ancient Lake Jezero is the key target of the mission because it could contain evidence of microbial life if, and it's a big if, it ever existed on Mars. But Perseverance landed on the opposite side of Sita from the Delta. That's because after flying hundreds of millions of miles through space, hitting the Martian atmosphere, and descending under a parachute, the precise landing site can't be controlled to better than about 5 miles or 8 kilometers. Here's a simulation of the desired entry path. The Delta is the terrain on the left, and the terrain unit that was later named Sita, Navajo for amongst the sand, is on the right. An ideal landing site is shown in front of the Delta. Here's what it actually looked like in real-time video from the camera mounted on the belly of the rover, swaying under parachute. The Delta is way to the left, and directly below is Sita. Long before landing day, it was mapped by geologists and engineers as an inescapable hazard, a rover death trap, because of its large boulders and sand ripples. Perseverance was pre-programmed to avoid it, using a system of sensors, algorithms, and retro rockets known as terrain relative navigation. The safest achievable location for this system on landing day was just outside the eastern edge of Sita. The rocks in Sita are key to understanding the geologic history of not only Jezero Crater, but also terrain outside of it. Getting these samples for ultimate return to Earth was considered a high priority by scientists years before Perseverance arrived. Now Perseverance has gotten these samples, each one a finger-sized rock core, and has quickly returned to the original landing site, proving yet another driving capability in the process. For the first time ever, a rover drove on Mars three sols in a row without humans in the loop. This was fully autonomous driving, with Perseverance winding its way through Sita for just over 500 meters, almost a third of a mile. Perseverance arrived at its current location about 90 meters, or yards, from its original landing site. Here's Mars Guy for scale. At that time, just over a year ago, its sampling capability had not yet been commissioned, so it took no samples there. That's why it's now going to collect one before driving north around Sita. Here's the view of the abrasion spot and a rock hammer for scale. Meanwhile, Ingenuity completed its 20th flight in a schedule that only included five, which were intended to demonstrate powered flight on Mars. Obviously, it's overachieving. Here's where it took off from and then flew nearly 400 meters, almost a quarter mile, to the northwest. It landed safely in a shallow crater between some large sand ripples. Here's the view from the forward-looking color camera after landing. And here's a view just before landing with Ingenuity literally looking forward to the cliffs of the distant delta deposit. 